so this is gonna be a uh, video series I guess I'm gonna be doing where it's gonna be pretty chill and relax it's gonna I want to talk to you guys in a non-edited podcast type way where I just spew out you know I just spew out my thoughts to you guys and this first topic is gonna be about destiny and it's gonna be the reason I guess why the destiny community has kind of turned on Bungie and Activision so first and foremost let's let's talk about what's going on all right so about 70 percent of the destiny community has stopped playing destiny 2 now a big exodus like this also happened in destiny 1 but this happened later in the game not in the very very beginning stages so Here's what's happening, right? A lot of people have been complaining that there is a major, major lack of in-game content in Destiny 2. Which I have mixed thoughts on. And because there's a major, major lack in in-game content in Destiny 2, a lot of people have started to leave. Now, here's what I think. I think that Destiny 2 could do better with the content. I think that the content in Destiny 1 is pretty similar to the content in Destiny 2 in game in total but I also think that people here's the thing people the people who are complaining the most about this are the people are the hardcore Destiny fanatics who have put in like 80 plus hours into the game and if you put in 80 plus hour into a game you're gonna do just about everything that you can do in that game I guess that's just how it is there aren't many games with like hundred plus hours worth of content like maybe Witcher Persona 5 or two games I can think of off the top of my head even Fallout a game all of Fallout's uh, expansions I think that Fallout have four expansion five expansions all of those expansions and I I finished all of them and I still don't think I put a more than 120 hours in Fallout 4. So I find it kind of ridiculous that people are complaining about in-game content in Destiny 2 when those people have grinded the heck out of that game. But at the same time, I do think that Dun uh, Bungie and, and Activision brought this upon themselves by deciding to make a Destiny 2 in the first place. If this game had the same amount, like, all right, so let's say this Destiny 2 was just a Destiny expansion and it was a hundred hours worth of expansion content and we were just waiting for the next expansion, I don't think that people, I don't think that this would get near the amount of flack as it has gotten already at the same time though I don't think it it may have gotten the uh, the amount of new players maybe depending on the uh, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for the advertising the marketing depending on the marketing it may or may ha not have gotten the same amount of play new players but I definitely don't think it would have gotten the amount of flack as it is now if it were just another 40 or 50 dollar expansion and that's what I think that they should have done in the first place we all remember that the whole plan for destiny was a 10 year project where it would just be expansion on expansion on expansion but over the course of destiny 1 they start giving themselves leeway to make a Destiny 2. When you make a Destiny 2, however, you you can't just add a couple of new supers and a little like barely make any changes to the gameplay and just call it a sequel. There have to be substantial 
improvements to gameplay and to content. Like even the character creation was the exact same as the first Destiny. If they didn't get greedy and they just gave this a 40 or 50 dollar price tag and call it another expansion, I think this would have been much more well received than just having a Destiny 2 where people were expecting a totally better game in all avenues, not just in story. We wanted a better game in story and in in-game content and in maps and in uh, Crucible gameplay, but there have even been complaints about the Crucible gameplay and the fact that a lot of people don't want just 4v4. Now, it would have been fine if you had a 6v6 quick play and a 4v4 competitive when the whole reason why you changed to 4v4 is to make it a more competitive atmosphere in the first place. Why don't you just only make the 4v4 being competitive gameplay then? That would have made it okay for everybody. But no, you just made everything 4v4 and you even got rid of like Rumble and a bunch of the 3v3 and 2v2 game modes for whatever reason. And private games got taken out in the beginning of the game for whatever reason everything just seems like th it, there were there was not enough improvement for this game to deserve a 2 and that was one of the big interview points when I first heard about the first interview that I heard about Destiny possibly having a sequel I don't remember exactly who it was but they said that you have to earn the right to put a number next to the game and not only does that come from the first game, but it also comes into what you're going to do in the second game. And this game did not deserve a number next to it. It should have just been another expansion. If you wanted to totally redo and add a bunch of new things to a... Uh, to another game and make it Destiny 2, if you wanted to drastically improve the gameplay, eh, I would have been all for it. But I don't think that's what this was. So I think that at the same time, of I think it's ridiculous that some people are complaining about a lack of in game content. I do think that Bungie kind of drove themselves into this hole by deciding to make a sequel to this game in the first place. I would love to hear your guys' opinions on this topic. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I love, uh, I guess, conversation-based videos like this where I can just talk to you guys and give my opinions. And I hope you guys love this too because in the future maybe I can have some other people to talk to in videos and things like that. Who knows? Uh, but this is King Dub the Seventh Sun and out. Peace.